So it is right now Wednesday morning and I'm just getting ready, doing some makeup. I'm hoping that this echo is not too bad. <laughs> I'm in my bathroom and I am at the new house, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update. So I took a little break for us to move and honestly, we only moved like 10 minutes north of where we were living previously. So we were in a two bedroom apartment. I think it was like 1200 square feet, I wanna say. And it was honestly just too small for us. And Kai was interacting with other dogs on a daily basis, which is great. However, <laughs> he was getting sick a ton. So he was getting sick like every other month and having to go to the hospital, the vet, not the hospital, the vet. And like he had rashes and infections and things like all the time. So we think it was just because he was interacting with so many dogs all the time. And he's also like using the bathroom where they're using the bathroom. He's sniffing their stuff. So I think that it was just like disease city, <laughs> which is like so sad to say, but we were looking for any excuse to get out of an apartment. I just don't think that was for us. Um, it was a luxury apartment, so don't get me wrong, like it was beautiful. You guys saw the bathroom had like big lighted vanity mirrors, like it was gorgeous. And we were above a grocery store, so like that's also so convenient. But yeah, it just wasn't enough space for us. We were sick of taking him down five flights of stairs or down the elevator to go to the bathroom. We were sick of 2 and 3 a.m. Uh, fire alarms randomly happening and going off for no reason. I swear that fire alarm went off every other month at 2 a.m. And it was always an accident. It was never like actually an emergency. So it was just, yeah, it was a lot of whatever. We were just really looking to move into a home again. We are now in a three bedroom, three story townhome, which is 1800 square feet, which does still sound small for a three bedroom, but with the way that the layout of the house is, and I'll give you guys a tour in the video, is that the first floor has one bedroom and a bathroom, the garage and the laundry room. The second floor is the kitchen, dining, um, living room and another bedroom and bathroom and then the third floor is just the master bedroom and bathroom so everything is like split up on each level which I thought was really awesome actually not a lot of houses have a bedroom on each floor like usually it'll just be the living room on the second floor so that was kind of cool so we're just happy and moving in and I wanted to take a break to you know really focus on packing and unpacking and getting accustomed to our new home um, before kind of diving back into YouTube. I'm like, I would say 85 or 90% moved in. I just need to like decorate stuff and organize a little bit. I will say this move has allowed me to finish a lot of books. I finished quite a few audiobooks while I was like just packing and unpacking. So that was really awesome. I did get through quite a lot. Um, and I did actually finish the Akatar series. So I finally finished Court of A Court of Silver Flames, which took me a month and a week to finish. It was like 690 pages or 650 pages or something. So yeah, I finally finished it. It was so good. If you have not read it, I highly recommend. I will say I cried so much during those books, but I think during this book, I didn't cry that much. So if you're wondering, if you're like scared that this book's gonna give you like a ton of crazy emotions, this one wasn't like, I don't know, wasn't as sad, I guess, or as, it was a different kind of story. It was more a story of self-love than anything else. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome. Um, I definitely hated Nesta, the sister, before I started the book. And then after I finished it, of course I loved her. So yeah, that was really awesome. I'm so happy that I finished the series, but I'm also like, I feel like there's a void in my life. <laughs> Because I finished it because I've been working on this series since December so it's been like four months and it was just a really great series it kept me on my toes it felt like um like Game of Thrones like it was I was anticipating every chapter it was just really good so it's not often you find something like that and I'm just mourning that loss but I did actually start 
fourth wing. I started it a couple days ago. I'm only like 100 pages in. Um, so please, no spoilers. But yeah, I, I just started that. And so far, I really haven't gotten like much into the story. We just got a little bit of world building in the beginning. It's not like super crazy good yet, but I know we'll get there because everybody raves about that series. So it's only two books so far, but I'm sure it's going to be more. Same with Akatar. It's five books right now, but I'm sure it's going to be so much more. Or it's four in a novella if you don't want to count the novella. But yeah, I'm starting Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. And then I think my next series will be um, Throne of Glass. I wanted to start Crescent City, but I saw a lot of people. This is all Sarah J. Mass's books. I saw a lot of people say that you should read Throne of Glass next after Akatar or first before Akatar. Um, and Crescent City should be the last thing that you read because they do kind of coincide just like a little bit. I'm not quite sure exactly how yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. So that's probably the next series I'm gonna go with. But I did read one of Allie Hazelwood's novellas. Um, she has like three little cute ones about women in STEM. And this one was about an environmental lawyer. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm definitely gonna do a book review in my empties video for the month. So you should be seeing that soon. And then I also, I think it's called Stuck With You, I wanna say. And then I also ordered another book by Allie Hazelwood, Bride, which I'm so excited about. It's supposed to be with vampires and werewolves. I don't know, I think her stuff is usually just like YA. It's not very spicy or anything. So I'm curious to see if this one is spicy. I have no clue, but I've heard a couple people say it was pretty good and a good intro for Allie Hazelwood to go into like the fantasy realm. So that's super cool. I ordered that. And funny enough, I actually was called to jury duty earlier in the month and I wasn't picked or anything, but they do give you like a $30 a day voucher for going there. So I ordered my book with that. I ordered, ordered Iron Flame and Bride, not Iron Flame, Fourth Wing and Bride with that money. So that's super funny. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I randomly just got a little bit of cash to go book shopping. Okay, I think the makeup is done. So anyways, that's the update for now. I'll give you guys a full like house tour probably later on in the day, but that is it for now. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hello guys. I just did a little Target run to get some stuff for the bathrooms and I picked up some books. So I thought I would share them with you guys cause I'm pretty excited to start. It's like two new series that I'm starting. So I'm really, really excited. But first I'm gonna show you um, these two Amazon books that I got recently and first one is Bride by Allie Hazelwood and I'm almost finished. I'm literally at the very end of the book. It's really good. It feels like a lot of her other books where there's like a little bit of a comedic aspect to it and she's of course um, a woman in STEM which is like her most of her books are based around that. Um, but instead, it's a werewolf and a vampire. So that's kind of cool. It feels like this, it feels like this, like uh, the fantasy aspect is just like an afterthought. It doesn't really contribute that much, um, but it does a little bit to the relationships. So I'm really liking it. I'll probably have a review for you guys later. And I do still owe you a review on other things that I've watched, but I also picked up Howl's Moving Castle and I got this one. I think it was a used book on Amazon, so it's a little bit cheaper. Um, it says it's $11.99, but I think I got it for eight. And this one was also cheaper too. I don't remember. I think I had a gift card actually. Um, Howl's Moving Castle because I love the movie by Hal Miyazaki and it's actually like my favorite of all of the uh, Miyazaki movies of the Studio Ghibli movies and I did not know that they had a whole book series just on Hal's Moving Castle so we'll see how that goes but I thought this would be fun I think it is more of like a YA easy read book because the pages are like pretty small and the text is kind of big so I'm happy that it won't like take me long to read this but it is 400 pages so yeah, I'm excited to read that just to see a little bit more into the world of House Moving Castle. So that's another fun one. And then at Target, I went a little crazy. I was really only going to get like one or two books. I really went, not went, but like had in mind to buy Iron Flame. So I did just finish Fourth Wing and the cliffhanger was really good, but it wasn't like anything devastating. 
I've heard that this cliffhanger is devastating and the third book is not coming out for a while, maybe a year. And this one just came out earlier this year. So it's only a two part series so far. It's supposed to be however many, who knows? It could be like 10 books eventually, but I thought it would be really fun to continue on. And I know I'm probably gonna be devastated by the ending, but let's see how many pages it is. 620 pages, so it's pretty thick. It's gonna take me probably an entire month to read this whole book. So that's that one. And then I figured because I'm not done with Sarah J Mass yet, I'm just, I can't, I'm not done. I'm not done yet, I can't stop, okay? I took a break from Akatar for a month. And well, yeah, a month. And now I'm gonna start Throne of Glass, which is another series that she has. Um, and this one I think is like eight books or something. So I'm really excited to start it. Everybody says it's like amazing and actually almost better than A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is crazy. And this is only 400 pages, so it won't take me too long to read. This one is eight books. So it's gonna take me a while to get through this series, but I really, I was missing the Sarah J Mass universe. So pick that one up. And then another one that I have been seeing like recommended on, I'm on book talk now y'all. And I'm also in a couple Facebook groups for like fantasy books. This one called A Serpent of Wings, or The Serpent and the Wings of Night. This one, I honestly don't know too much about, but it's been recommended a lot. And I wanna say it is also like a trilogy. I think there's three books in this series. This one is about 460 pages. I did not know that this was about vampires. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is about vampires and humans. Did not know that, but I've been seeing it recommended and I'm really excited to try it. So that's another series. I'll probably save this like for after I finish um, Iron Flame and then I can start a new series once I'm like finally caught up to this series. So yeah, I'm so excited, you guys, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hello guys, as promised, I am going to give you a house tour and we are starting on the first floor. I do have to say, don't mind the boxes. We are still in the process of unpacking and stuff. I have to find spots to put the decor that I have left over. I have not really put a bunch of stuff on the walls yet. So we're just still in the process of moving in and we probably will be for the next like four months because there's some things that we need to buy and I don't want to buy everything all at once. So that's just a little preface, but let's get started. As a reminder, we are now in a three-story townhome. So for the sake of just like safety and stuff, we're going to start inside the house, but this is the front door and then this is the garage. And then we go straight into the laundry room. I really like this being right here. The only problem is that we live on the third floor or we, me and Ryan sleep on the third floor and we have to bring the laundry all the way down. So that sucks, <laughs> but it's fine. These laundry machines are really good. We are renting this place. So very thankful they had this here. And then Ryan keeps all of his running shoes and I keep my shoes that I walk Kai in down here. And then right here, we put this little guy here. This has been in all of our houses. It's perfect, convenient for Ryan's running belts, for Kai's leash and collar and stuff, and all of our sunglasses, so we love that. And then we do have a little coat closet right here. I'm currently doing laundry and drying all of our athletic clothes, so don't mind that. And then this is the office. I went ahead and turned off that purple light because it was doing something really weird in the screen, so I'm sorry if you saw that. But this is our office. I work from home 100%, and Ryan works from home like part-time, so... We both have our setups in here. So this is my desk right here. It's a sit stand desk and I have my treadmill. I walk on this for about an hour or two every single day. And then we've got this little locker cabinet drawer thing with all of our stuff, my printer and a little lamp. And I probably will end up putting something on the wall right there. And then this is Ryan's setup, super big. He loves to have a million screens. I don't know how he can work with that, but he loves a million screens. So that's, that's all him. And then we've got a little closet right here, which we just have some random stuff in. And then our bathroom, which I was about to do a makeover on. I actually already bought stuff for the makeover. Like, look how cute this is. My little peach shower curtain. But I forgot to get shower rings. And then I brought in the new bath mat that I got for this room. And it didn't really fit. And there was like a little stain on it. So I'm going to bring that back to Target and try to get something else. So 
I'll probably do like a little bathroom remodel with you guys <laughs> soon, but I really want to get some art to go right here and then some fun colored towels. So I might go to like home goods or something, but we shall see. So let's move on to the second floor. All right, now we're on the second floor. And as you can see, right when you get up the stairs, there's a room on the right and a bathroom and then our open concept living room and kitchen. So let's do the first room. And this is basically our guest bedroom slash workout room. So we have this little trundle bed here. I believe it's a full size bed. Um, and the one underneath is a twin and so it pulls out. So if we have people stay with us, they can sleep here. Ryan's taking a few naps here. So it's just like, it's very comfy. We've had this at the old house that we used to have. And then we have all of the workout equipment over here. We've got some dumbbells, all my yoga mats. I got a yoga mat down here and the new Peloton bike, which I'm not sure I've told you guys yet, but we did get a Peloton bike. We've had it for about a couple weeks and I'm in love. I love it so much. Both me and Ryan use it. It's amazing. So this is the guest bedroom. It gets a lot of good natural light. And then we've got our guest bathroom, which just has a shower, a toilet and a sink, of course, and then some storage up and below. Okay, next you'll notice this like landing area, which just ended up being for our random stuff, but I will be buying a kitchen table soon. We didn't own one previously, so I do have to buy that. And so that'll go right there. That's what this place is for eventually. And then you'll see the kitchen area. So I'll just go ahead and pan to the right. And we live here, so of course there's stuff out. I just finished eating lunch, so just ignore that. But this is the kitchen. Here's an at a glance of it. We do have, I love, my favorite part about the kitchen is there's lights installed underneath the cabinets and it's so nice. So I'll show you, we've got our little bar stools. We had two of these at the apartment, so I bought two more so we can have like four people sit here and eat. And then beautiful double door refrigerator with a freezer at the bottom. Pantry is right here and Kai's stuff is down there. And then our little under cabinet area. I've got my coffee bar set up over here. This is where, you know, we cook and stuff. So I've got the knives and the utensils and things like that. And then the toaster, the air fryer. And then I set up this little area as like the cute little decorated portion. And then we'll go into the living room area, which this is definitely a work in progress. I like how the couches are, but we still have this box that's un that's not unpacked yet. Uh, mostly because I don't have anywhere to put those decorations. I might move one of the little chairs over here, so we'll just see. But this is the setup for now. I like it. It's not my favorite, but Kai loves this chair, so we have it out for him. Um, and then we can finally use both of our big couches, which we haven't been able to for a while. And the TV's right here, which Ryan wants to get a bigger one, because let me back up and show you it on the wall. It's a little small compared to the wall, especially if we mounted it. Just see how tall that ceiling is. And we'd probably mount it right there where the outlets are already. So Ryan wants to get a new TV and mount that. And then of course I need to get a bigger um, credenza to go underneath the TV. I think I'm actually just gonna end up getting two of those and make it a double wide. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, work in progress. All right, moving on to the third floor. It is literally just the master bedroom and master bathroom. So you come out from going up the stairs and I really love our master bedroom because it has this recessed ceiling and it's so beautiful. It makes the room feel super big. And here is our bed. Eventually, probably not even this year, but eventually we'll get a new bedroom set because this is kind of a hand-me-down and get a king bed. But for now, we still have the queen. And I put those two up here. I talked about it in a video. I'm probably gonna change out the artwork above the wall because I do have this giant painting that I could definitely put in the middle and then get rid of those two flowers. So we'll just see how that ends up going. But for now, I've got my little rolly cart, our fan, my Ikea drawer full, full of all my makeup. Got my little full length mirror over here with this beautiful lighting coming from the windows. And then ignore the boxes on the ground. Like I said, we're still moving in. Um, our dresser right here with the TV and a couple of things on here. And then Ryan's dresser is just along this wall and then inside the bathroom. I really, really love this bathroom, you guys. It turned out like meeting my expectations to a T. I really, really wanted to have a big soaking tub that I could just sit and lounge in, and I'm so happy that we got this one. And then we have the step-in shower and double vanity, so I'll just show you, look how big that mirror is. This is great lighting. 
The shower is really, really big and it has a little seat. So I honestly didn't even need to put in any of my old like shower shelves or anything because everything just sits right there. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I love it. And then we've got the bathtub right here. No jets in here, which I'm really happy about because I know that's really hard to clean. So I love my little tub and eventually I'll get like stuff to trick it out. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen like people doing really extra bath videos where they'll have like a bubble machine inside that makes like the jacuzzi and they'll have like lights in there and like a little cushion in the back for your head. I'm gonna do all of that eventually though. We can't afford everything all at once. And then I did actually just get this new hamper, which I love because it has three little sections. I'll just show you. Three little sections and you can kind of divide out all your laundry. I think it's really cute too. And then I've got our big giant closet. <laughs> this one goes very deep and fits a lot of stuff. Probably could use some more organization, but it's good for now. So that's our house tour. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna go back to work, but I will talk to you guys later. Hello guys, it is currently after work and I'm going meet Ryan at a work event for his work and I wanted to show you guys my little outfit because I think it's so cute. I kind of did my best at like casual professional. I don't go into the office so you guys know I don't really wear uh, professional work clothes. I wear yoga pants all day. So let me show you my cute little outfit. It's like 80 degrees outside so it's hot. So I'm gonna be wearing a tank top and jeans. But I thought this was so cute. This is the first outfit I've actually put together with my Tory Burch sandals that I got last year. And I think it's super cute. Just this like super plain Calvin Klein. This is like a dress shirt um, that I would have worn in the office and then jeans. And yeah, I could have worn my Tory Burch bag, but I feel like Tory Burch bag and sandals is like overkill. And I don't want his coworkers to think I'm like high maintenance or something, but I am. But we don't need them to think that. So anyways, let's go. I think we're gonna have a couple cocktails and probably some good food. It is Sunday. I'm currently doing a little bit of makeup and I figured I'd hop on and just chat with you guys to close out the vlog. But this last weekend has been so fun because Ryan and I are actually being social again. I feel like we did our trip to uh, Vancouver slash Whistler in February and then we moved also in February and we're still moving in March and that costs us a lot of money to move so we just really haven't done much of anything ryan had like a really a week long actually it was like 10 day long work trip and i was just home alone and then we had a wedding to go to so these past couple of months have been just busy for us and we just don't really want to spend the money to go out and like see people and do stuff so we just really haven't been doing much of anything <laughs> But this weekend, we've actually been very social. <laughs> and Thursday afternoon, like you guys saw, Ryan had a little like happy hour work party and I went with him to that. And then Friday night, we met um, his sister slash family friend, Camille. And we went to dinner with her at this really fancy little, I mean, I wouldn't say really fancy, but it was really nice little restaurant. Um, Oh my gosh, it was so nice to just enjoy that. Camille loves like high class things and we love going with her to high class things. So she also invited us to go with her friend group to brunch today at one. And it's currently almost 11. I'm getting ready because I think I'm going to record a video and try to do that before brunch. But yeah, we've just been like very active. Ryan's parents came out yesterday to drop off Kai. They were watching him for us while we had um, to be out of town for that wedding. They stayed for a little bit and we kind of socialized and then Camille came over and helped me um, kind of design our living room space and like where all my wall decor and stuff should go and that was so helpful. She has a really good 
design eye. So I was very appreciative for that. I love the way her home is styled. So it's really awesome to get her opinion on how I should style my home and we move the couches around. So I do owe you guys a little clip of that. I think it looks so much better. I'll probably show you guys once I finish putting up the wall decor that we decided on. But yeah, it's just been a really awesome weekend getting stuff done and we finally have Kai back. So I'm really happy because he's my, he's my little friend and we do everything together. So I'm very happy to have Kai back, but I don't think I updated you guys. I didn't vlog last weekend cause I was really trying to enjoy the moment. Um, but my college roommate, JC got married and you guys, I had the time of my life. She invited like 20 or so of our um, college friends to the wedding and we just had so much fun on the dance floor and just seeing everybody which i hadn't seen most of those people in like five years it was so much fun it was amazing i had the best time ever i swear ryan told me he was like i've never seen you that happy before like you were on cloud nine and i really was so i just wanted to live in the moment and not really vlog and that's kind of the vibe of what i'm doing now i really haven't been as active on social media and stuff because I'm kind of just trying to get back into enjoying life. I feel like I like documented my life for so long with these weekly vlogs and stuff. And I kind of just want to enjoy it for myself. Um, so that's really why I haven't been vlogging a ton recently. And also I have kind of a lack of motivation, but I'm just trying to get back into enjoying my life. Anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready. I'm gonna record on YouTube and then I will sign off because I want to show you guys what outfit I end up wearing to brunch because I think it's gonna be really cute. So stay tuned. Okay guys, here's the final look. I went a little pinky on the eyes and a pink lip and then a plain peasant top for the top. Just some of the little holy jeans, some sandals from Target and then my little Louis Vuitton bag. So yeah, I think it looks really cute. Thank you for joining me for more than a week worth of vlogs but yeah that's everything for today's video hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in my next one bye